How you doing? I'm going to sh today show you how to use Visual Studio 2010 with C Sharp to make a report using three tables. The first thing I want to do is make a data set. So I'm going to right click on the name and do add new item. I'm going to go to data, data set, add. It's going to bring up another screen. I'm going to right click in the blue striped area and add a table adapter. It's going to bring up another one and I have my data connection so I'm going to click next, next, next. Query builder. Then I'm going to select the tables I want. Add them. I have three tables which are all linked with foreign keys. I'm going to select item master, item description, and vendor. Then I'm going to put a where clause in here. And then I'm going to set that equal to a parameter, then I'm going to pass it. Then I'm going to hit OK. Next. Next. Finish. Then what I want to do is I want to create a report, so I'm going to right click on the solution name again and say add new item. Click on reporting, then report, and then add. It's going to bring up another screen. Now what I want to do is go down in my toolbox and add a table. And then select my data source and my data set. And OK. Now I'm going to put my Report data fields that I want in here. I'm going to click in the blue area and then scroll down in the properties and set the margins equal to zero so it all will fit on one page. You won't get any problems. Okay. Then what I want to do is I want to go back to my form and then I want to put a um, report viewer on there. I'm going to drag it on there. Okay, It's going to bring up a little window there but let me just show you. Click on this report viewer and see that little triangle? Click that and it will show you another screen choose report that one we just made now click on choose data source it's okay hit okay click on refine data sources then click down here on data set and set enforce constraints equal to false so we don't have any problems with the database then uh, double click on the button it's going to show you that red squiggly line because it's looking for our parameter so we're going to say text box one dot text because that's where we're going to get our parameter name parameter from vendor names when the person enters it in the text box okay and uh, these two lines are created automatically by visual basic we're going to cut them from the form load where it puts it and put it in the button click event and uh, let's just make sure that this works hopefully we don't get an error Okay, now let's test it. I know Walmart is one of the vendors, so let's just put Walmart in there and click button one. Okay, see how it's got our thing? And so we know it works. And if we want to see a print preview, just click print layout. See how it made it all on one page? So anyway, it works great. I hope this helped you out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.